In this video, we will learn how to find the market equilibrium in case of non-linear model. The question is, let us say we are being given that demand function is QD is equal to 4 minus P square. QD denotes the quantity demanded is a function of price which is 4 minus P square and quantity supplied is QS is equal to 4P minus 1. So we have quantity demanded and quantity supplied. We have to find out the equilibrium price and quantity. Okay. So let's first draw the graph of these two demand functions. Okay. Sorry, demand and supply functions. Let me try to graph it here. Okay. So let's draw the graph here. Let us say we have quantity on this axis, price on this axis. Okay. Let's take this demand function first. How do we draw the graph of this? So we have Q is equal to 4 minus P square. Let us try to find out the coordinates here. How do we find? Let us first let, uh, let us put Q is equal to 0. If Q is equal to 0, then it implies 4 minus P square should be equal to 0. Okay. Or when solving, so we have P square should be equal to 4, which gives us P is equal to so if I take square here, it will become uh, under root. Okay. So we will get plus minus under root 4. That means uh, we get P is equal to plus minus uh, 2 square. Okay. Square and root cancelled. So we got P is equal to either uh, plus 2 and P is equal to minus 2. So we got uh, the price is plus 2 and minus 2. Okay. So when Q is equal to 0, okay, when quantity demanded is equal to 0, price is either positive 2 or negative 2. Okay. Let us say this is here 2. Okay. When Q is equal to 0, P is equal to 2 or it is minus 2. Let us say it is here minus 2. Okay. Now, when Q is equal to 0, sorry, when P is equal to 0, in the second case, when P is equal to 0, if P is equal to 0, so this term becomes 0, that means Q is equal to 4. So, another, uh, uh, when price is equal to 0, quantity is 4, okay, let us say this is 4, since we have, you know, quadratic type uh, function here, there demand function will look like this okay it will look like this it will touch the horizontal axis at you know four so this is the demand function what about supply function supply function is simply so we have q is equal to 4p minus 1 let us put q is equal to 0 if q is equal to 0 implies 4p minus 1 is equal to 0 or 4p is equal to 1 or p is equal to 1 upon 4 okay so when quantity demanded is equal to 0 price is 1 upon 4 okay so let us say uh, p is 1 upon 4 here let us say this is 1 upon 4 okay now when p is equal to 0 in this equation then uh, quantity demanded so this term will be zero quantity will be equal to minus one in this case uh, when p is equal to zero quantity demanded is minus one let us say it is here minus one okay so our supply function will look like this okay uh, this red line and this blue line will intersect each other okay I will not show it here because I don't have the space. So this is the graph of this uh, model. So we have this supply function. This is our demand function. Now let's try to solve this. So we know that equilibrium occurs where quantity demanded is equal to quantity supplied. Okay. In this case, so quantity demanded is equal to quantity supplied. That means uh, 4 minus P square should be equal to this 4 minus P, 4 P minus 1, sorry. Solving for P square. So we can write it like this. P square, uh, P square plus 4 P 
okay if i transpose this here minus 4 minus 1 is minus 5 should be equal to 0 now let us factorize this quadratic uh, equation so we can write it like this p square in place of 4p so i i should get two numbers such that their sum should be equal to the middle term which is 4 the coefficient of the middle term and the product of the same two numbers should be equal to the constant term which is minus 5 okay so if i write here <clears throat> minus 5 plus 1 so it will become rather if i write it uh, in this fashion uh, 5 minus 1 and 5 into minus 1 so i will get here 5 minus 1 is 4 5 into minus 1 is minus 5 so i can write it like this uh, plus 5p minus p then we have minus 5 is equal to 0 let us take p common in the first two terms so we have p we are left with p plus 5 here and let's take minus 1 common in the last two terms so we are left with p plus 5 i hope you understand it better it is very simple now let's let's take p plus 5 common so if i take p plus 5 common here we are left with p minus 1 should be equal to 0 which gives us either p plus 5 is equal to 0 either p plus 5 is equal to 0 or p minus 1 is equal to 0 if p plus 5 is equal to 0 it implies p is equal to minus 5 if p minus 1 is equal to 0 it implies p is equal to plus 1 okay so we will outright you know reject the negative value of p because price cannot be negative so we take this which makes the economic sense here price can be positive in this question so our equilibrium price will be one okay corresponding to this what will be our equilibrium quantity just plug this p is equal to one into uh, either demand function or supply function let's take it uh, into the supply function okay so quantity q will be equal to four in place of p we have one so i can write four into one minus one so we have q is equal to four minus one which gives us three okay so quantity supplied sorry and quantity demanded will be equal to three and our equilibrium price will be one okay that is how do we solve a non-linear model we get we got here a quadratic equation we got two values for the prices uh, here okay so we rejected the negative uh, you know value of price that also means that our you know uh, we will outright reject this uh, these quadrants here okay so we will be confined with this first quadrant to make the economic sense in this question okay so i hope i make myself clear thank you